What the f is this? Your objective is to identify your target, then kill them. What's going on everyone? This is the Flapjack and today we are back with some more Assassin's Creed 4 multiplayer footage. Today we're going to be rocking around with the adventurer and let's see if we can improve on what was an abysmal performance in my last video. Somehow I doubt it. Anyway, here we are. We're going to start off going after the hunter. Well, I'm just going to level with you guys. This game was absolutely Terrible. I had a red ping the entire time and simply there are some things that just happened that made me want to again Chuck my entire gaming setup out the window. So as you're gonna see on the screen right now We're going to spend a billion years looking for the silent shadow only to get stunned by a bodyguard where he's 40 freaking feet away I'm gonna turn you now to a clip of my last gaming session where my bodyguard wouldn't stun fan crazy when when she was like three feet away from me. Eh, I probably should save that guy, otherwise I'll cease to exist. <laughs> eh, existence is futile anyway. Jumping back into this game, we're gonna be hearing very loud whispers, and so we're going to turn our attention to this kid right here and... Okay, never mind. we were looking at completely the wrong person. As we respawn, we are immediately going to see one of our pursuers doing the slide to the left order from the cha-cha slide right in front of us, so, you know, that's always nice. Now let's kill this annoying silent shadow. Now that we've successfully killed our target, let's drop a smoke bomb and hopefully we're able to avoid getting killed. Alright, it worked. Now for the- Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize we were going against fucking Kylo Ren who can stop time and smoke bombs. Good to know, game. Respawning, we are immediately going to hear whispers, and as we can see, our target is very close to us. As we turn the corner, we run into the orchid. She is immediately going to make a beeline to the other side of the cabin, and so we're going to try to stay casual and, oh, don't shoot me the do-rag. Not the do-rag. Doesn't anyone have any common courtesy over here? As we respawn, we're going to see our target across the map, but unfortunately, we again have Lady Black making a beeline right for us. As we turn around to confront her, she apparently becomes intimidated by the fact that we just came back from the dead, so she's going to turn and make a run for it. Oh shit, no one told me about ghosts! I'm out of here! No you don't, bitch! Tables turn just like that. Now we're allowed to turn our attention to the Silent Shadow. We meet again, adventurer! This time the outcome will be different! Take this! Now the score is Adventurer 2, Silent Shadow, nothing. Unfortunately, our victory celebration doesn't last long. Because of this fuckhead. Respawning yet again, we are given another opportunity to kill the orchid, and she so happens to be right in front of us. Take this, Blackbeard! Ha ha! I am unstoppable! No one can kill the orchid! Adventurer, stop that right this instant! I demand- <sighs> And now we have taken care of Nihao Kai Lan. So, uh, I might get demonetized for that. Anyway, we're, not, we're hearing wild whispers, so we're going to look around and- the score is now two to one, adventurer! I draw ever closer! Well, you, sir, can screw right off. Respawning, we are going to be given the person known as the Jaguar, who I usually refer to as the Silent Shadow, as our. Can I even finish a sentence? Really? Anyway, now we are given the Orchid as our next target. She's going to spend the next couple moments climbing around this cabin, and so we're going to wait patiently for an opportunity to strike. Now seems to be the appropriate time. Let's go in for the kiss. Snooze you lose, motherfucker! Are, are you kidding me? 
How many times have I got stunned just walking up to someone and pressing square and trying to... Oh, never mind. Silent Shadow, where is he? Where is he? Can I get this kill? Oh, I am allowed to get a kill. That's new. Can I have more of that game? Am I allowed to have kills? Is that is that a thing? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm done raging. We now have an opportunity to make it three to one against our good friend, the Night Stalker. And oh, look, here he is now. Oh, not you again. Don't ever try keeping score with me, you little bitch. Having that nuisance taken care of, we are now going to look for our friend, the Silent Shadow. We find him attempting to hide in a blend group, so... Too slow, adventurer! Twice? Are you How dare you try to run up the score! Feel the wrath of my hook! <sighs> I'd really like to stop dying now. Spawning immediately to Whispers, we are going to turn the corner and see the hunter going for a brisk jog in the evening sunlight. I know it's a decoy. Now. And I'm fucked. <laughs> Look at this dumbass! He didn't realize that was a decoy. Shut up! Ladies and gentlemen, I can honestly say that was very embarrassing. Moving right along, we're going to sit in this blend group for a while, hearing whispers, all the while keeping an eye on the hunter. He's going to chug right through the chase breaker, kill his own target, and so we're going to move in for the kill. Of course, somehow we're going to get stuck in the smoke, and then he's going to be able to stun us, and then the Night Stalker's going to even up the score. Yay, Assassin's Creed. As we respawn, we are immediately going to hear whispers, and so we are going to put our shifty eyes on, and... Foolish adventurer, I have acquired the power of the flash step! Tremble at my awesome might! Isn't it just great how fair and balanced this game is? Spawning back into the game, we are given the jaguar as our new target. So, we're going to briefly jump in this hay bale for no apparent reason, and then spot him across the map. So, we're going to make a beeline right for him, and hopefully have an opportunity to kill him. Oh, this could be a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would kindly take notice of how close I am to him! And yet, he's still able to stun me. Ladies and gentlemen, thinking about it now, I'm pretty sure what's going on is at this moment, he himself is already pressing the stun button, but because of the intense lag that I'm experiencing, I'm not seeing it on my screen until it's way too late. Assassin's Creed just has a magical way of computing it to me in the most frustrating way possible. After that amazing example of the flawless Assassin's Creed 4 servers, we're going to turn our attention again to the Orchid. She's at the far side of the map, so we're going to casually approach, I mean as casually as you can in a video game where your movements are completely determined by your character, but anyway, we're going to hopefully approach quietly and discreetly, and hopefully we can get the kill. At this point, I'm pretty sure she notices us, but... I'm not even going to say anything. Picking ourselves up off the ground, we again have an opportunity to get a one-up on our friend, the Night Stalker. As he's right in front of us, we are going to calmly and quietly move up to him, and seeing the fact that he's just been stunned, we're going to use this opportunity to give him a nice little tap on the shoulder. Hey, Night Stalker. Dude, I'm trying to talk shit here! Can you just leave me alone for five seconds? Once again plucked from the jaws of the underworld, we are going to be given Lady Black as our new target. As we round the corner, we're going to see her in front of us, but unfortunately she's going to make a mad dash to the other side of the map. Thus, we have no choice but to follow her. She's going to dive right into a pile of smoke, which I've heard can be bad for your health. Dude, if that's the best joke you can come up with, just stop making videos. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. I never said I was a comedian. And now we come to the entire reason that this is a what the fuck moments video.
Well, that's going to do it for me, guys. Let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments. Also, let me know if you have any ideas for things I could do moving forward. I'm always open to new things. And they could be about this game or any other game. But let's be honest. With clips like this, there's only so much I can take. Hey, did you like the video? Well, you probably wouldn't be here watching this end screen if you didn't. So, like and subscribe. If somehow you got to the end of this video and hated it, then comment down below about how it was a terrible video and I'm a terrible YouTuber. At this point, I can't really do anything to change your mind, so with that being said, much love and peace out everyone.